Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey guys, we are in beautiful Spring Hill, Florida with our franchisees. We are teaching them how to do mold remediation in this house. Hey guys, we are in beautiful Spring Hill, Florida here today with our franchisees. We are teaching them how to do mold remediation in this house. So what had happened was there was a leak that leaked into a guest bedroom from the shared wet wall to the guest bathroom and the homeowner, because it she lives here by herself and she doesn't often go into the guest bedroom, let it go unnoticed for quite some time, mold formed. Now we're going to have to clean the contents in that room, remove them, pull the carpet, pull the tack strip, and start cutting some drywall. We're gonna teach these franchisees how to do it. Stay tuned and learn something yourself. I am the one that can run to the vehicle, grab the stuff if I, I need an extra blade, I need it, I don't have to derobe, come out here. Sure. No. Sounds good. I, I, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> you need him in the room. No, that's that's true. That's true. What we're going to do is three of you guys are going to be in the room. We'll work about an hour, an hour and a half. Then I'm going to sub. I'm gonna tap one person out. Okay. That person's going to cool. take some time out of the Tyvek suit, recoup, get some water, be the gopher for the next hour and a half. So we're going to grab the moisture meter, okay, and we're going to check that wall behind the toilet. But what I need you guys to do first is fi find a dry standard wall, okay? The way we do that is something that is far away from our source wall. So what we're gonna do, I have the address here, take a picture of it, that's my set, okay? Now I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna do the same thing. There's also affected area. It's a good area. So you have moisture and what you'll do is you just put it on the wall and it gives me a reading. Gotcha. Now when it is really moist, you hear it that? beeps for you. So the baseboard is 8.9. This was, uh, let me just look so I don't tell you the wrong thing. 4.8. 2.7. Oh, 8.5. Oh, it's yeah, kind of damp right here though. No, it might not have been ran. No. Yes, yeah, it's, it's damp it's right here. Right 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 I think that's the source. I spend. <laughs> An hour no, right there. Very, <laughs> very damp right there. It's very damp. My, you can feel it in my fingers. You want to tape your your wrists there. Right now, you guys are sealed, okay, because you double gloved. But as you're working, it's gonna slide. And it's gonna, that's why you want to tape. All right, go ahead. Uh, anyway. Try yours first. There you go. <laughs> Elbow grease. Same thing all the way down. And pull and, and pull, pull this. Pull yeah. Pull it tight while you're doing it. Good. There you go. Yeah, you come to Baltimore soon. Because Baltimore needs a lot. I'll be here to help. Get the tall stuff yep. on the walking ladder. Yeah. Oh, that's smart. That's smart. We need more tape. All right, can you tell me a little bit about what we're doing right now? So we're literally just using the shock wave to clean this down and make it sure we don't leave anything behind. Can we find any mold on the bottom of the chairs? Yes. 
I think majority of the chairs, we got some on the chairs and we got some on the book. The book shelf over here says just when it's been sitting in the water, the mold just climbs up to it and made itself a home. Now we're trying to get rid of it. Okay, do you need help, Jesse? I got it. Yep. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, is that trash? Yeah. Alright. No, I'm just worried about the turn. I'm not sure you get I'm going to help him hand. The bottom is moldy, alright? The bottom is good. Yeah, right now we're doing this. Anything we got mold on it, we got to go. And if we can save it, we spray it down, wipe it down and clean it to make sure it doesn't bring back mold. But we see a lot of mold on these furniture that has to go because it will come back. But uh, these things we can save, we're going to be trying to save it because it looks like it's been around for a while and she needs it and she likes it. So we're trying to save what we can save, but if it has mold on it, it has to go. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got poop, but it's not mold, it's poop. You're in feces? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a roast feces, but it's not mold. Giant spiders and crawl spaces, snakes, We're friends. Wait, that's not trash? No. <laughs> We friends. Yes. Thank you, man. This I whole, so. Oh, this whole thing don't know. How are y'all gonna do that? So we just took a lunch break as we're doing this mold, this mold job. We took all the furniture out of here. We've treated what was salvageable. We've had to trash some things that were not salvageable. They were porous. They were already growing mold on them. Now we're going to work on the carpet, the baseboards, and the drywall and start getting everything else that is impacted by mold out of here. You guys need to clean the carpet surface as much as possible so that he can keep on moving as quick as he can. And then just kind of like this. Yeah. Now it's doing the trash. Every time I've done this. What? Every time I've done this first right? See that carpet trick that I taught him? Guess where I learned it from? TikTok. TikTok taught me that carpet rolling trick. What? He's kind of doing his balls right now.
done is we've removed the drywall, the insulation up in here, and now we on these support beams and the studs that are on the wall, what we are do, doing is we are treating it, because we can't remove the support studs, so right now we are treating it and killing any possible growth, mold growth on those studs. So as you see, we have the trainees going around, treating all of them. What they're going to do before is now they're going to agitate that they've sprayed it, they're gonna agitate it and let it sit, and then tomorrow we're gonna do it again. We let the DHU run for three days, and then after three days, our two times treatment and our fogging, we'll have our PRV done to clear us and make sure that we have properly assessed and treated the mold, all right? Hey guys, wrapping up day one of this spring filled water remediation slash mold remediation. We have treated the bathroom, we have removed the carpet, removed some drywall, treated the studs, we have the DHU and the negative air machine running, or air scrubber running right now. What we are doing is we are packing up for the day, but stay tuned for day two here while the rest of my crew comes back and finishes the rest of this job tomorrow. Thanks. What's up guys, it's Nathan here. We're back in sunny Florida. It's a beautiful day outside. Perfect day for a little mold remediation. So we're day two on this water and mold job. Water's been gone for a little while. Mold grew, unfortunately. Um, so we've been remediating. So today, what we're doing is we're retreating where the flood cuts were made. We're retreating all those spots that had mold on them, all the places that were cut. We're gonna use part A, and then we're gonna agitate it. We're gonna part A it again, and agitate it. We're gonna shockwave it. We're gonna seal it with paint, and then we're gonna fog, and we're gonna call it a day. So, you come join us. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna use kills to seal in these wall studs. Everywhere that the flood cut was, is where we searched and looked for mold. So all mold that was evident on these beams across has been treated, has been killed, has been agitated, has been wiped up, cleaned, and made sure it's not there. So now we're gonna seal it in and encapsulate anything that's there. And we're going to make sure no mold grows back on these again. Now this paint, while I'm painting it, it doesn't have to be perfect. As in, it doesn't have to really look 
super, super good because it's not like an interior paint on a house or an exterior paint on a house where it's, you know, all about the look. I'm just sealing it in. So as long as I get full coverage of this wood, then it's good. and we finished our painting portion, now I'm gonna fog. So I'm gonna use our electrostatic fogger with our hospital grade EPA regulated disinfectant, which is gonna get any mold spores that we might have picked up when I was aggravating it and spraying it, anything. The movement of us in here around those mold spores before we killed them and during, they have kicked up into the air. We have our filtration going, we have our stealth or dehumidifiers, all that stuff that help. Now this is gonna kill the rest of anything that's in this space inside of our containment. Okay? So. Watch as we fall. As you can see, you come with me. Our containment is set here, so this is a shared space to this bathroom as well. So it is at risk for those mold spores since it is behind containment and it's the same shared space. So we're gonna fog all of this and make sure we're set and good. We're on our way out of containment. We have containment walls over there. We've made our way out. We're working our way out the door to avoid any cross contamination that may have been on our Tyvek suits, any mold spores that I could have transferred when we opened the door coming in and out. I'm gonna fog my entrance out here in just this general space to where our, our exit and entrance is here, so. We got all the stuff we needed to get done. We painted it in killed all the mold, we treated the mold, we did all our remediation process that the remediation protocol called for. So now it's just up to a post clearance test to make sure there's no mold, do an air quality test, call it a day. So we're good, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.